Hey everyone, welcome to Front of the Apps, I'm Minty, and this is episode 12 of the Frigate Fracas Tournament. In this episode, we've got the Black Pudding by Iron Fist. Which is, uh, well, it's got two forward-mounted crams. Nothing really on the rear of it. No guns on the rear. Nothing really, just the deck there. Got the propellers underneath with rudders. Stone and wood construction primarily, it looks like. There might be metal on the inside. It looks like some alloy. So a pretty fragile looking ship armor wise, but it does have two triple barrel cram cannons. And a bunch of these direct input fed APS. Take a quick look at its firepower. Now, the firepower on the APS, not very high, but uh, it does have missiles and a ton of cram firepower. With 40% armor cost. It's a lot of firepower total, though. Because it's got, uh, yeah, it's got torpedoes on the underside, looks like. That's expo that's exposed ring shield right there. That's probably not great. <laughs> oh, is the volume low? Oh, my mic's turned up. Is anybody else having volume issues? Nothing's changed from normal. Adjust my headset there. Is that any better? I don't know. Okay. All right. All right. Everything seems good. So, yep. Also has this uh, sort of tiered superstructure thing here, which looks pretty neat. But it is uh, more or less a front sider. Just in the shape of a regular ship. Got some sonar here. Oh, it looks like it's got some uh, torpedo interceptors as well. Yeah, so that's the uh, the Black Pudding by Iron Fist. When, uh, and its opponent is going to be the Stormblade by Lizardfur, which is... Uh, Using APS guns and torpedoes, if I remember pr correctly. Oh no, though it's got crams too, but not as much. Not nearly as much cram. The firepower on this thing is significantly less, but it does have more armor. Not by a whole lot, though. So uh, that might not go so well for the Stormblade, because those crams are going to mess it up probably. That's my guess from the initial inspection. So let's go ahead and uh, get the battle underway and see how wrong or right I am. Exchanging cram volleys. And gaming just subscribed. Thanks, man. Oh, it's got some uh, harpoon torpedoes on the, the iron... Or the, the black pudding. Black pudding looks like it took some hits to its superstructure there, but doesn't really care. Stormblade's got a lot faster fire rate of its crams. I think it just fired three times to the uh, Black Puddings once. Ooh, but that was one heck of a strike under the bow of the Stormblade there. That cannon's basically done. And those torps, oh, they're, they're, uh, they're torpedoes from the, uh, the black pudding. Oh! <laughs> oh, man! That was a straight shot right in the center. Let's just... I want to just pause this and check out the destruction. How is that AI alive? <laughs> just, wow! That was one heck of a hit. Definitely had to check that out. So let's go ahead and uh, put things back now. Torpedoes landing. Yeah, the Black Pudding's guns are definitely scary, Brisby. I I, uh, I agree with you there. This <laughs> torpedo. This is fine. <laughs> oh, that's going right into that compartment where the AI is. There's no way that AI is still alive after that. How? <laughs> 
in the way. The AI! How? <laughs> That's ridiculous. How is that AI not dead? The Stormblade is getting uh, hammered pretty well. This gun is done. This gun... Still possibly functioning? Oh, torpedo hit. <laughs> Breaking news, AI literally too angry to die. <laughs> It'd be hilarious if one of these torpedoes managed to get in there and kill the AI after it survives all those cram strikes. Oh, Stormblade's getting awful low there. Not sinking yet, but it's really close. Those tope torpedoes are not doing so well on the black pudding. Oh, that last gun just got absolutely destroyed. Oh, there we go. Stormblade is is now uh, getting a sinking despawn. Yep, there she goes. And that is the end of round one. Black Pudding putting up a uh, very impressive first showing. Completely destroying its opponent. Let me resize this window here real quick. Make it easier on myself. There. All right. Now we can go ahead and uh, get round two underway. Oh, right. I think I forgot to... Yes. I forgot to save that for the black pudding. Let's go ahead and just save it now so I don't have to do it again. All right, because otherwise it spawns, like, really far under the water. And it did it anyway. That is not correct, game. Why would you do this to me? 30 meters. Apply to team. Save. Okay. Okay. There we go. Where is... I hate how they do that. Okay. Alright, so here we go. Into round two. That initial volley... From the black pudding... Wrecked the barrels of this gun. And may have damaged some of the internals. But actually, no. I think the internals of that forward gun are fine. It's just barrel damage and bow damage. <clears throat> the torpedo interceptors on the Stormblade stopping some of the torpedoes from Black Pudding, but not all of them. But those torpedoes are having trouble actually landing. But I mean, the cram cannons seem to be more than enough. Like one of the barrels of the uh, 
I think this gun might actually be disabled. Yeah, the barrels are all small. It's lost all three barrels on that gun, I think. This gun isn't firing properly. This one barrel isn't firing properly either. Looks like the black pudding's down to two barrels. And now those secondary direct inputs have uh, changed to targeting the ship itself, it seems. Or they were already. I know, if I remember correctly, Iron Fist has a thing on there where they switch ammo after a certain amount of time. And they start firing, I think, Teshrans. But yeah, the crams aren't really firing anymore very much. There's some of them, but, uh... This is far from the blowout that round one was. Oh, but Stormblade has gone dead in the water and is sinking again. Ooh, that was a pretty solid hit to the side of the uh, black pudding there. Let's just check that damage. Not nearly as... as uh, devastating... Oh, but it did get in here and knock out some of those guns. That might have been from before, though. I think those... Yeah, I think those were damaged before. But, uh... Not nearly as, uh... Devastating as the... Uh, the Black Pudding's own crams are. On a shot-per-shot -shot basis. If the Stormblade would stay floating, you know... Like, it's actually kind of winning this match right now. But it's, uh, also getting close to sinking. And that the secondaries keep just shooting off into the distance. Like, what are they doing? <laughs> they must be set up to fire, like, on a timer or something. I'm not sure. Black pudding plus broadside switching equals death. You mean if a ship switches broadsides, the black pudding isn't going to do as well? Possibly. It depends on whether the the, uh, <laughs> the ship can resist the initial strikes of the black pudding's guns. Oh, pudding had it. Okay, that's just shy. Yeah, Stormblade's not doing so well. Better than the first round, but uh, still not good. so that's the end of round two that's going to be 87.3 for the pudding and 84.7 for the stormblade which is still a loss for the stormblade it is quite behind right now that that first round loss was you know pretty devastating losing 92.7 to zero is you know actually why am i even loading it i don't need to load it it should still have everything saved in properly i should just have just hit start, it should work. Right? Yep, we're all good. Round three, underway. Let's see how these uh, cram cannon strikes go. Ooh, mostly to the superstructure. But it did take out a barrel of the black pudding's turret there. See how the uh, Stormblade is doing. It lost a it lost a turret as well.
but it looks like it may have only lost one barrel. Ooh, it hit something explosive in the back there. Oh yeah, you can see cram canning components falling down there. That gun's not doing so hot. Oh, that turret on the rear of the Stormblade just got blown off completely. I think the Stormblade's out of guns. I think the Stormblade is toast. Those torpedoes. Does the Black Pudding just like not have enough uh, processing power or something? Because those torpedoes have a really hard time actually landing. Like the bl <laughs> the Stormblade's barely moving, and the torpedoes just keep missing. Pudding is rushing even more than my ship? Eh, quite possibly. Black Pudding versus, uh, Denipio might be an interesting fight. Oh, suddenly the Stormblade writes itself. That's interesting. Ah, the internal explosion lifting it out of the water. That's entirely possible. Oof. It's getting absolutely hammered by those cram shells there. I wonder how durable those cram shells are and how well they stand up to Sea Whiz. Oh, it's got 50% hardeners, is what you're saying, Iron? And shooting him, shooting yourself. You should, probably shouldn't do that. Just saying. Seawiz is gonna have a hard time shooting those down. They have a decent amount of H HP then. We have inertial fuses or something on them because they keep detonating on the water. Anyway, so round three is in the books. That's 93.7 for the Black Pudding, 66.1 for the Stormblade. Which gives us a final score of 91.2 for the Black Pudding to 50.3 for the Stormblade.
So the uh, the Stormblade lost the the combat portion pretty hard here, but uh, the vote will still matter. It's almost impossible for the vote to not matter. So yeah, by the, when by the time you're watching this video, the poll should be up on the Discord, and you should go head over there and cast your vote. So thanks for watching, folks on YouTube, and I'll see you in the next one.